Well, hello everyone. It's Claudette, your friend on the internet, and today we are recreating a makeup look. This is my first time doing something like this. I think it's going to be really fun, and this is the picture that we are going to try to recreate. So let's go. So as you can see, I have already gotten my base done. I'm going to focus on the eyes first and then I'm going to go around to the face as well. This is a very um, moody, like matte look. So let's get started. So first I'm going to start by priming my eyelids with some concealer just so that the colors that we put on there pop. Do a puppy pop. Okay, so I have primed my eyelids and I'm going to start by just getting a warm color um, just to start creating that ombre soft faded effect. So I'm going to put that basically almost over the entire lid. And if you hear a little bell and a little whining, it's this little guy. Hey. He wants to go play outside, but there are cars, so I don't want them to run over him. Next, I'm just going... Ow. <laughs> Ow. Okay, I'm going to go in with a warm brown. Maybe that one. Um, there, that looks to me like... The color man it is a hard day to record so lightly just taking it on the outside corners from what I can see there I'm gonna put that in the crease The hardest part about doing makeup like this is getting both sides to look the same. I don't know if that's the same for you, but that's how it is for me. So, let me get that in there. I just want to deepen it and darken it a little bit. Like that. Okay. And just gonna blend that out a little bit it's a very soft and subtle yet unexpected so the only thing that I'm not gonna do today is the lashes so I don't have lashes but I'm gonna do everything else except of course the hair and there everything else. we'll see okay so next I'm going to take a darker brown. I'm going to take this one over there and looks to me like she really emphasized here. And then I'm just using my brush that's a little bit lighter and I'm going to just try to blend that out a little bit. Okay, I don't want to blend it too much out because um, the, the focus is not on the, um, the brown but the yellow. So... Just blend that out a little bit. Okay. So, because it is such a light color, what I want to do is I'm just going to take a little bit of concealer and just pop it. Ah! Not there. Okay. 
there and there and just I basically just want to create a sticky base for it to you know stick to and storage sticky Okay, now I'm going to take a flat brush and this really light or bright blue. Ugh. <laughs> anyway. So. Man, where's the pigment? Can you see that? I don't know if I'm going to get it as bright as hers. I'm going to put it in a decent space so that even if I'm blending, there is still yellow. Packing this yellow on, trying to get enough pigment. Can you see that? I don't know what it looks like because my eyes are closed. Does it look okay? So we've got some bright yellow. To me it feels like it needs glitter though. Like, does she have glitter? I don't know, blending like dark colors is really hard you guys. It's not for the faint of heart. Okay, so the, there's like a very dark, almost black color that she's got like right here on the lashes. Um, so I'm going to be mixing a brown and a black to get that color. Um, so let's see. I would say that looks a little bit like the picture. What does it look like? I think that looks really pretty. I must say, with the like, um, without the dark color, it didn't look really that great. But actually, now it looks a lot better. I'm gonna blend that out. It's like blending, blending, blending. Okay. Yeah. Okay, got it. Okay. How's that look? I think that looks decent. I would have loved for the yellow to pop a little bit more. I don't have that striking yellow. Where's my brush? Oh, here it is. Oops. Okay. So I'm just gonna go back in with this yellow right here. And now because she is looking down in the picture, I cannot see what's under her eyes, but I'm assuming there has to be something, otherwise that would be incomplete, right? So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a small little brush like this, and I'm just going to take the yellow and put it underneath the eyes. How do you do this again? I can't remember how you did this. Like my brain, my brain, you guys. Okay. Does that look better? I feel like I look like a bumblebee. 
if I can look as cool as her and I'm done, that would be cool. I'm just like going with my imagination now. Um, what? Fine. That's fine. You can be done. Okay, we've lost camera two, so we'll just have to continue here. Okay, now for the tricky part eyeliner. So I can't actually, on my face, an eyeliner, winged eyeliner, does not look good. So I'm gonna do like a mini winged eyeliner. I think that is almost one of the most perfect eyeliners that I've made. Okay, now I'm just going to clean up around the edges to make it more of a sharp. Okay, so I still look a little bit like I just woke up from the dead, but I'm going to put in some color into my skin. I'm going to do my eyebrows now, and she also has a very like natural eyebrow, so I'm going to try to do that. Well, thank you for joining me today on this epic journey. I must say, this is a lot of makeup. I I did not think that it's going to be this much, but I guess with a picture, it is a lot. But I enjoyed recreating this makeup, uh, this makeup picture, makeup look. Um, if you want to see more of it, please like and comment in this video, then I know you like this kind of content and you want more of it. Thanks for watching.